Good morning, church. It's Saturday. Hope you're having a good Saturday so far. And that uh, that flower on the thumbnail for this video, I want to talk about it for a second. Those are flowers that just popped up in the in our backyard. And uh, they were a great surprise to us um, because when we bought the house in the early part of the year, uh, we knew that there were the previous owners had put plants, you know, various parts around the property. And there were um, there were other plants around uh, the back fence and places. And they came up in the spring, you know, daffodils and stuff like that. And then others came in and then they wilted and died. And and we thought, OK, well, that's done for the year. And then all of a sudden, these one day, these stalks came up out of the ground and there were these beautiful flowers. And uh, someone told me that they were appropriately enough surprise lilies. And uh, they're my favorite plants that we've got here at our house. And they're just, they're, they're lovely. And I've been thinking about time a lot lately. And it's, this got me thinking about these flowers because um, they're only around for a little while. They, uh, it's just maybe a few weeks that they pop up and they're gorgeous and then they're, they're gone. Um, they're not even like some other plants where, you know, the, the plant comes up and then they, they bloom and then the blooms are gone, but the plant still stays. No, uh, once they're stopped blooming and all the petals fall off, uh, just the whole plant dies. It's just like a stalk and the flower and that's really it. Um, and it got me thinking, and I've been thinking more about time for different reasons as well, because my son is just now six months old and wow, that went by really fast. Uh, and then that got me thinking about God's perception of time. And how, compared to how we think of time, to God, time is nothing. Uh, we believe that God experiences time as just one solid thing. Like, God has all of time before God at all times. Um, to the point where, uh, you know, there are a lot of texts where Jesus said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going now, but I'm coming back, and, like, I'll be here. I'll be back, like, really quick. And to the point where it was several decades before anyone ever thought down to actually write. Everyone, anyone thought to actually write down the Gospels. Uh, you know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Because it was just orally spread. Because that was, you know, that was the culture at the time. You just spread things by word of mouth. I mean, that's how you pass down stories. And, and then when Jesus finally wasn't coming back, they're like, hey, um, maybe we should write this down. Just so we don't really get the story uh, you know, too inaccurate as the years go on because we don't know when it's going to come back. Uh, but the, 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 the message for today, I guess, is that uh, you know, time for us is fleeting. Time for God is not. Um, and when we are resurrected, we will be in on that God time. Uh, and even though that time is going to be better, uh, you know, this time's pretty good too. So uh, in the words of the great Ferris Bueller, life moves pretty quick. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you might miss it. So just like those flowers out in my backyard that are only here for a little while, well, we're only here for a little while. So enjoy it. Enjoy the other people around you. Be a good influence on everyone and try to find the good in everyone because it enriches you too. Let's pray. Gracious God, help us to get the most out of our time here and appreciate the good things and do what we can to make the good things more plentiful and the bad things more rare. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. All right, folks, take care of one another. Enjoy yourself out there. Stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow.